Get ready. It's time. Christina, Catherine, Lisa, Amy, Lauren, and Danny. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. You are listening to slash watching episode 10, which is called Galaxy, which oh. is the 10th song. Go, 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 Galaxy. It's what the 10th. It's the 10th. It's the 10th song on our album, Sad Girls Club. If you haven't listened to it, go listen Speaking to it. Speaking of our album, Sad Girls Club, wow, what a cool shirt, Christina. Yeah, I have this really cool <laughs> shirt on. I have a really cool shirt. It says Rise and Carry On, which one of the songs on Sad Girls oh, Club. That's not a song on Sad Girls Club. I was going to say it's from one of the songs. There you go. I, I, left, I left out one word, which is from one of the songs. And uh, if you want to get it, you can get it. Oh. At Love it. Cimarellimusic.com slash store. Ooh, yeah, go good. get a cool shirt. It inspires me. me so um, this is called Galaxy. It's a song that <clears throat> this young lad named Danny wrote. Oh. Did she? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to play a little bit of that first, and then we're going to jump into this. <laughs> episode so hit it Gladys Listen to that song four or five times in a row. Aww. Did you cry? No, but I almost did. Oh, what wow. a moment! <laughs> that's basically my life. Almost crying, but not quite. Aww. Aww. So the theme of this episode, in basically Dini's own words, um, it's about Galaxy the Song, which is about love delusion. Just yeah, kidding. It's, it's not delusion. love. It's delusion. She, Delusions of grandeur. She said this, not me. Yes. She said delusion. And basically, when you're living in another world, because you're, an you're obsessed, you're not an idiot. I you're was. just no, you weren't. So you're just a, um, obsessed with someone, and you're idealizing. You're hopelessly. The, you're idealizing the whole situation. Basically, you're taking like this gray picture, and you're like, "It's so colorful," and it's yeah, like, "No, it it's really not. not." Sorry. Um, I just want to say, <laughs> Lauren just reminded me of this. So I was singing this song when I was listening to it in the car the other day, and obviously I wrote this song about someone with blue eyes because I say blue, the color of your eyes, and all I see. And I was singing it, and yesterday I was thinking about someone else when I was um, listening to it, and this person has green eyes, so I. <laughs> I made a remix and it goes, green, the color of your eyes and all I see. When I look at someone's grass, I think of you. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I love that yeah. remix. All right, so we're going to jump into our highs and lows as of late. <laughs> Neediest to greediest. Um, so who wants to start? I'll start. Okay, so my high is that I, I purchased these leggings. Wow. <laughs> that you can see um, a little bit ago and... They were a little bit expensive, and no. I've worn them basically every day. Don't worry, I wash them. But I wore them, like, every freaking day of the year. Not really. Okay, but I wore them a lot, and I'm really glad that my money was well spent. My low... <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very happy with that. My low what? was that I didn't have any eggs one day, and then I didn't know what to eat for breakfast. How is that a low? I one don't know why day. I think of my breakfast uh, for all my lows. Because, okay, do you want me to tell you my deepest, darkest, emotional low of the week? No. I'll tell you another I time. Think some people do. Well, everyone's bringing Rrr. that, so I don't want to yeah. um, add to it. Mm. Y'all are y'all are going there. All right, the second born, me, Catherine. <laughs> You're um, the third born. My high. By the way. You in have a two room, older siblings. I'm, no, in this sibling table, I'm the same. Okay. <laughs> okay. Round okay. table. Matter. The anyway. nights of the room. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, my high was that I had the best burger I've oh ever had, gosh. and I love my favorite meal of all time is a burger. Me too. Let me just tell you, this me burger too. had. Um, crispy onions and mm-hmm. bacon, mm. and the fries had truffle oil. Oh. oh! It was decadent, to say the least. Um, my low was that I really wanted to buy... I know, Christina. I know. <laughs> She's like, move along. My low was that I really wanted to buy a pair of Uggs, and then I laid out my budget for this month, and I did not You said envy and the budget. Dude, I looked Aww. at the Ugg site, and I was like, where did all the regular Uggs go? They don't all make them anymore. Right. You couldn't find them. They're all gone. They, and I clicked classic boots. Yeah. None of the classic of ones were classic. there. I yeah. was Whoa. flipping out. Weird. So um, that was your low. Well, I'll go okay, so what was your high? <laughs> my, no. My high was... 
a couple days ago, I went back to the gym for the first time in a while, mm. and I had the best workout because I was actually able to like eat enough and get enough water before I went, which I usually don't, and I was like, wow, killing it. Good for you. My... Yeah, let's just go with that stupid Ugg thing as a low, actually, because I, I can't think of one. Come on, Ugg. Right. Where Thanks. are those classic styles? So, my, um... <laughs> okay. So Your high? My high was that uh, this week I started um, a weekly to-do list of things that I need to do, like... Um, like, I was trying to, like, you know, revamp my life. Good. So, I, yeah, it has good things, revamp. like, talk to people, um, <laughs> wow. read, paint, go on an adventure, which I didn't do, which good. is the low. The low is that I didn't go on an adventure, so I played one with Danny, yeah, and we were both and too, tired. too tired. Oh. But Lame. we'll avenge it for next this we'll next it. week. We'll do it. Yeah. Um, we need to do two now. You young people? My high was I went to hang out with my friends, and... We got cheese curds. Oh, I was oh, so good. Well, well, really, I just ate Wait, them. Yeah. What are they? Just regular plain fries. fries. They're, just they're fried. So it's like Ooh. it's like it's a like ball. Sticks. Shout out to Wisconsin. Love yes. like a cheese <sighs> stick. And then my low was that I also got a root beer float at that time, and it wasn't good. Oh, that's rough. All right, it guys. Was a low. I have an interesting high. So I had a breakdown. But, like, an angry breakdown and, like, a self-respect respect breakdown on Ooh. Saturday. And, honestly, it was a high. Like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it felt really combos. good. I went on, like, a 30-minute drive to this thing with my friends and the whole drive. Yeah. <laughs> I was screaming angry music and, like, hitting things. Oh. So, it was really, like, I never do that. So Well, not never, but, you know, I do it, like, once a month. So, it was great. It was a fun time. Um, And my low... Was on the car right here when I literally almost peed my pants. Like I had to be so bad. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh>. She's <laughs> never done I tried that to before. sprint into the house when I got here, and Lauren was like, hey, "Man, you did okay. It took me even longer." So <laughs> did she know you had to go to the bathroom? Yes, I forgot. She wow. forgot though. It's okay. I didn't remember. I made it. I didn't pee my pants. Don't worry. Never what done a lie. <laughs> what a lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think we have a. <laughs> I believe we have a fan question. <laughs> a spicy, spicy morsel. Oh, All right. I hate that. This hate one's that. more uh, reflective, not really spicy. Okay. <laughs> so, what is your advice for people that struggle with low self esteem? Mm. Uh, I got low self esteem. I can give like the logic perspective journey. if anyone wants to give like the emotion perspective yeah, or whatever. Because, yeah, yeah. uh, again, for me, I always just have to explain to myself. First, you have to identify it, okay? Like, what really is your low yes. self-esteem? Like, you can't just be like, ugh, I hate myself. That's that's not really helpful, okay? So go, it's weird, but, like, go specific. Like, first, just unleash all your darkness. You're like, ugh, I hate my legs. I'm a failure. I'm ugly. I'm stupid. Like, go specific into specific things that you, like, hate about yourself and write <laughs> them down, right? So you have it in front of you. And then... And first, you have to get all the emotions out, okay? So start there. Once you're a bit more calm, then you can look at this list and be like, okay, is this real? Like, am I really the stupidest person that ever lived? Mm. Mm, probably not. <laughs> like, do I, are my legs or whatever thing on your body or all your body, whatever it is that you hate about your looks, like, is this really something that is just so horrible and, like, if anyone saw you, they would just shun you forever I don't know is it really <laughs> that horrible and like all the stuff about yourself like just try to look at it logically and explain think of a reason like okay why is this not actually that big of a deal why am I like telling yourself why you will still keep living even mm. though you supposedly possess these horrible traits and just kind of explain it to yourself that always makes me feel better and then um you can make a list of ways <laughs> to better accept those things mm -hmm. and and end it with like positive affirmations like i am beautiful if you're calling yourself ugly you got to say like i am beautiful i am smart mm -hmm. i am kind i am loving i am lovable and cancel out all the stuff that you started with but you have to start in that dark place you can get it out first and then you can deal with it um i have a couple things <laughs> so i don't really <laughs> you always do that. i don't really care about logic no offense lisa because i know it's like your um for tank savior, life. same. But I just was not born with a little, very logical brain. So, um, I mean, I'm straightforward and I'm honest with myself, but I'm just not, like, just because something's true doesn't mean I care about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't supposed to be a roast. It's just a fact. So, it wasn't it's a funny. Roast. Exactly. It wasn't but they responded it like it was a roast. So, oh, you, roasted. Roasted. you roasted your, you roasted logic. I roasted logic. Not the rapper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you go. <laughs> anyway, so, sometimes... 
you just have to look at your feelings and how you see something and be like, all right, this is how I feel. You have to really accept it because a lot of times people like ignore it and they're like, no, I don't think that. Like, what? Especially when people ask you. I always end up holding the ginger shot and like using it as a thing. But mm. anyway, a lot of people like I know this one girl and she just seemed really insecure about herself. And one time I went to the gym with her or something and I could just feel her like so insecure the whole time. And like she I could tell she really wanted to be skinny and I'm like very naturally skinny, but she's like even skinnier than me and so I was with her and like I could see her like comparing herself to me and I talked about it kind of to her and she's like no like I don't I don't have a problem like it's fine whatever and I just really really wanted her I didn't want her to like live in her pain but I just wanted her to accept it like okay I have this problem I think this way and then I I'm just keep thinking of her, so I'm just going to keep going with this thing. I really wished that she had, like, a group of people, kind of like me, because I would do this for her if she actually let me and stopped rejecting my, you know. Advances. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. Whoa. Anyway. No, anyway, you know, moving on. Yeah. Her friendship advances. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted her, like, if I could just take her life and, like, put it into exactly, like, what I think would make her happy, like, I would surround her, like, if I was, like, the, the puppeteer of her life, I would surround her with people who told her that she was the way that she really was because I saw her as this beautiful, fit, you know, not that even being skinny is the ideal of, like, what's perfect, but for her, I mean, she wanted to be that way, and she already was that oh. way. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how do you even, like, look at yourself and think of any flaws? Like, she's so physically, Wait, like... that's the thing. If you wrote down all your flaws you see in yourself and showed them to someone yeah. else, everyone else, no one, not one person on this earth would read your horrible list and be like, yep, it's true. Every single <laughs> no one, one would do that. Everyone's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, there's so many things that people see in themselves that they turn into this negative thing when they're either A, it doesn't exist, or B, it's not even negative yeah. in the first place. So, I don't even know... There's, there, this is such a complex subject. What was the original question again? It was how do you deal with low self-esteem? <laughs> okay, yeah, low self-esteem. So Dude. obviously that happens in a, a myriad of ways, whether it's physical appearance or like your personality or whatever. But when it comes to anything, like you are the way that you are. Like physically, in terms of like losing weight and gaining weight and stuff, obviously that fluctuates and that changes. And there's so many body types. There's so many different ways you can be. And I just like to think, like, if you're healthy, like, if you work out occasionally, if you don't exactly eat crap all the time, like, that's my vision <laughs> of so healthy. healthy. <laughs> but I'm serious, like, it, that's not, like, you know, the healthiest you could be, but that's, like, you know, not every person is you're capable. You're not, like, about to die. Yeah, not every person is capable of working out every single day and never eating any crap. So, like, anyway, what I'm saying is you have this way that you are, physically and mentally. So I would surround yourself with people who see you the way that you want to be seen, which is probably the way that you already are, which is beautiful and confident and happy. Like, so many people, so many people, there's billions of people in the world, so many people will see you as this way that you want to be seen. You just have to find them and actually let them be nice to you. Because so many times, you try to comment someone, they're like, oh, no, I'm not like that, I'm not like but that. Actually, but actually, it's not even seeing you the way you want to be seen. It's seeing the good in you that you wouldn't even think is there. Like, you, yes. you I want to be seen as loud and outgoing and confident, yes. blah, blah, blah. But they see you, they're like, you're so, like, smart. Yes. and like other things that you don't even see and it's like like if you see actually the way accepted that, you that are, yeah. in the beautiful yeah. way that you are you, you know? need to get to a group of people you need to get your that life is like you. Yeah. surrounded by people who aren't talking trash yeah. to you all day basically um, I have a story to share of my own my own life when I was 15 I had very low self esteem mm. I also had a group of friends that were very critical so mm. it kind of makes sense mm. coincidence um, I, but I, I, I don't even that. know where I thought of this it just popped I don't know if someone told me something but uh, one day, when I was 15, I wrote down a list of 20 things that I liked about myself, and I mm. stuck it under my pajama pants in my closet, <laughs> and I would just, like, because I was so embarrassed about it, I would just, like, pull it out, Aww. look at it. The only thing I can remember is that it said I was good at backstroke. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that was just the, that was the spark that started a fire, and it's, it's just, like, one, when you think about it, okay, you have all these weird, rigid guidelines in your mind of what a, what you would be if you were perfect, but you're not, you're this horrible person, but the thing is human beings are actually subjective not objective you are not like it's not as rigid as you think like one person can be liked or disliked by like five different people 
three people could be like, oh, they're, that person is like so annoying. They're so, they're way too loud. They're obnoxious. And then two other people could say, that person is vibrant and energetic. True. And I true. love how loud passion. they are. Yeah. yeah. So I love you them. can choose to look at your characteristics and you can call them flaws or you can call them strengths. That's yeah. your choice of yeah. how you look at yourself. So you just have to embrace the way that you are and start to think of yourself as what are the things you do like? Everyone's always going to have things about themselves that they don't like. And if you just focus on those all day, you're going to make yourself miserable. But you can make a list of 20 things and stick it in your closet. Mm. I just focus Under on your those pajama things. Man. Yeah, and that'll make a difference. No, um, I have one that I did, and then I'm sure you have one after me. Oh, I start talking. Um, um, really, really quick. Uh, I was like waiting for permission, basically. So I like didn't like certain things about me, and then if like a boy told me he liked that about me, or mm. my parents told me they liked something, then I was like, oh, it's okay to like. Mm. And after that happened enough times, I was like, wait, why don't I'm a person too? So why don't I just <laughs> tell myself I like that about me? And then I started just telling myself. This is cool. This is a good thing. And I started just actually taking my own opinion seriously, which sounds like, like, why am I allowed to do that for myself? Because you are. There's no rules. Make your own rules. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So sometimes (laughs) we come into this world and we are slightly the antithesis of what society would say is cool. (laughs) This one. That means like the opposite people. Yes. I I always thought it was antithesis, but let's continue. Antithesis. So like sometimes you know you're short, a little, little not 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 like being Normal. short is not, and you cool. want to be like no no no, but like like you're you're birthed into like a forest of redwood trees and you're a potted plant, oh. or like or like you want to be mysterious and quiet. Well, you're not quiet, but not mysterious quiet. and quiet or cool or whatever, Ooh. whatever other whatever. people are. I'm just kidding. Well, there's a lot. I'm of kidding. I'm kidding. Keep going. Defining characteristics that a lot of people have that are different okay but like for me I have a very distinct personality and Amen. way that I am and I literally wanted to be the antithesis of everything that I was mm. I did not want anything that I had I was mm. like no I want to be tall and quiet, quiet and mysterious and then maybe people will so like what the me. heck did you do I turned into this weird like thing and I was like Ugh. I was looking to everyone else to see what was valuable mm. and you liked all these boys that liked that other yeah. kind of person and it made you think even That's more amazing. I'm yeah. wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So what'd I, you do? Well, what I did was, I don't even know how this exactly happened. I know a lot of it was um, Lauren. Lauren's my life coach in a lot of ways. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, I remember saying some good things too, but like, I realized Yelling one day that I like, always, yes. I always yell at Amy, but like nice things. Like, you suck, you're great, yeah. you should realize it. Yeah. You so suck. I always wanted to be like, I didn't realize that like, what Catherine was saying, I had a lot of strengths that I didn't know were there. So, like, mm. I didn't know it was good to be, like, my personality. But I realized, you know, life sucks when you literally hate where you are. You hate <laughs> all these things you cannot change. Yeah. So, when you think about it, you just have to take what you have. Yes. And then you have to go with it. Yes. You yeah. have to say, okay, well... I was born missing part of an X chromosome. Okay. <laughs> I was born loud. Okay. I was born very talkative. Okay. So I'm going to yeah. find yeah. these and things. There's certain people in this world who don't like talkative people. You don't have to surround yourself with those yeah. people. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was doing. I yes. wanted to be belong and fit and I was looking to everyone else but I realized I had to figure out what yes. worked for me and who I was. And I just actually came into this like last year at yeah. the ripe old age of 22. Wow. What's but, that quote? Um... Uh, a something who tries his whole life to be a something else. Oh, a fish, a fish who tries its whole life trying to ride what? a bike or whatever. No, is don't, don't, don't judge. Oh, yeah, what is that? Don't judge <laughs> the intelligence you know, of a if fish. If you judge the intelligence of a fish, a fish trying to, like, ability to, to climb, climb a tree, a tree it will live its whole, whole life, life thinking it's thinking stupid. it's a failure. No, it's I a great problem. Right. Right. No, you get it doesn't the matter. Point. Point. The point is, okay, if you try your whole life to be something you never will be, you're going to hate yourself your whole life. Okay, I want to add a last thing. Um... A big thing for me that was helpful in my life's insecurities was telling people. Because then I could say, like, oh, I feel like everyone hates me and everyone thinks I'm boring. No one likes me. And then people be like, yes. that's not even yes. true. What? Because if you just think all these things in your mind all day and all you do is look for evidence to confirm that it's true, then you're just going to keep thinking it's true. But when mm. you say it to people people that are nice mm-hmm. and actually know you, mm-hmm. then they'll, like, tell you that it's not true. And that was, like, a big thing for me. So Yeah. Good. Amen. That's good. Love it. If you're watching this, you are awesome. You don't have to change. You're great, okay? Yes. Just be yourself. Very be great.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> so we're going to go to Lauren's take now. Hey. Hey. This is the part where we get to hear Lauren's opinions the most on important take. some questions about stuff. All right. Cool. The first one's a little more straightforward. <laughs> okay. Would you ever cut your hair like Lisa? No. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you think confessions make a relationship stronger? I don't know what that means. means. It means like like opening up. Vulnerability opening oh, up. Oh. Um, yes. I think they can. Or, well. Because, okay. Well, okay. Sometimes if you confess too much, then too people soon. kind of freak out. They're, They're like, <laughs> uh. Bye, but if it's like a good time to confess something, you know, and you guys are like close, then yeah, they do. Okay, Okay, um, what artist inspires you? (laughs) 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 Lana Del Rey, thank you, Lisa. (laughs) She inspires me a lot. Okay, uh, why are you such a legend? (laughs) I don't know. I didn't really try. I'm going to ask you this one that that we asked you last time because you said you couldn't say it on the spot, but now you've had like a few days to think about it, which was... (laughs) She's like, what? Or actually, yeah. Okay. It was, if you could say one thing for the whole world to hear, what would it be? (laughs) I didn't think about that. Oh, no. Well, okay. I would probably say... Uh, okay, I don't know exactly what I'd say, but if, uh, like, the subject of it would be something that has to do with God, I think, you know, because if everyone's listening, then I have to say something about that. What would you say so about that? So people God? can hear it. I don't know. Cool. I have to think about it. You, <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay last the one. last question is, what do you do if you see your crush every single day at school, but the most probable thing, I think they made a different word, is that he has a girlfriend? Oh, oh. so you see him every day, but he has a girlfriend. Oh, that sucks he probably for you. Is. Um, oh, here's what you have to do. No, he has a girlfriend. But she said the most probable thing is that he. So she doesn't know. It's not confirmed. Problematic. They said problematic. You said probable. No, they said probable. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go with you have a crush on someone, but he has a girlfriend. Okay. This is what you have to do. You have to wake up from this dream that you're living in. No offense, because he is with someone else. He's not with you. He's not thinking about you. He's probably not talking to you. And Mm -hmm. if he is, then. Mm, he shouldn't be talking to you a lot if he has a girlfriend. So what you do is you ignore him. You don't speak to him because it's just going to make you like him more if you talk to him. So just let it go. Delete, block, report. Just yep. let it die because he should be dead to you in you this moment if you're crush. in love with him and he is taken because it yes. just sucks for you. Maybe later he'll break up with her, you know, and then maybe something will happen. But for now, it's just depressing. So just right. don't make your life worse. Wonderful. He didn't Wonderful do anything to, hear. to you. He just has a girlfriend. You're going to report him. His okay. account might get yes. deleted. <laughs> you are. Because he has a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's uh, defensive. It's great it to hear Lauren's part. thoughts. It's Sam. Wonderful. Now we're going to hear some sappy uh, thoughts. I need to get my hazmat hat. suit. <laughs> so, oh. hit it. Jump right in. Go. Both, this is up. the magic of gratitude. Oh. Bam. <laughs> All right. This story, this um, this segment has a twofold um, approach. So the first fold is on the north it corner. It's like first fat. Fold. Okay. Like no, I'm thinking That's like what? Miranda Sings. Did I ask for uh. your commentary? No. Okay. So the first. Skin fold. Okay. <laughs> guys, you're stop. ruining my gratitude. Sorry, okay. okay keep so going. this is titled The Magic of Gratitude. So I stumbled upon gratitude when I was around the age of probably 17 or 18. I had this little polka dot <sighs> notebook and I challenged myself to fill it with gratitude. I didn't fill it. But I did get to like 648 or something like that. And I just wrote down a list of all the things I was grateful for, like random things that like apply to the universe and just things that were specific to my life. So that was my first um, dabble in gratitude. (laughs) And then one day later, I read this awesome book, probably like when I was like 20 or 21. And it was called 1000 Gifts by Ann Voskamp. And it talks about how she was going through a hard time and she challenged herself to find like the gifts that she already had. Instead of focusing on all the things she wanted that she didn't have, she focused on the gifts she had already been given. So she challenged herself to write down a thousand things she was grateful for. So then I came upon my list again years later. And I remember one day I was just making this list of all these things I was grateful for. I didn't really think too much about it. About 24 hours later, and this is weird because I feel like gratitude has like a delayed effect. I was just, you know, going about my life. And I really think it started in the cornfields. Um, (laughs) Because I just love cornfields so much. They really make me happy. Yeah, (laughs) I love a good field. And I was driving through these cornfields and I just felt this rush of 
pure joy. And I really yes. think that joy was directly <laughs> correlated to that outpouring of gratitude. So there's just a, a direct correlation there. Also, to Wait, um, what happened 24 hours later? I felt joy. All this she joy. joy out it. of nowhere in the cornfield. In the cornfield. Where'd you go, Indiana? Also, the I second part found of the cornfield. Or <laughs> the second part of the cornfield, the second fold <laughs> of the story is we. Were, I was at a. Um, at a, a turning, wait, not a turning. A turnpike? A fork in the road. Thank you. All right, let the woman speak. I was at a fork in the road where I was really hoping to move from Los Angeles to Nashville. And my family was kind of like on the fence about it. And I was freaking out about it. Like, I want to go to Nashville. I hate LA. I need to get out of this hell hole. And um, I was driving through those same cornfields. And I suddenly, it might have been the gratitude had a lingering effect years later. But I just remember that I looked out into those cornfields and I had this sense of peace. And I was like, you know, if I'm forced to live here, I will find a way to be happy. <laughs> and I started to just focus on, I think I just thought of it again, what I was grateful for. And I felt peace. Like, hmm. I'm just going to find peace here, even though I hate it. And then <laughs> Danny called me that morning. I was at breakfast with my friend by the cornfields. And she told me that we were moving to Nashville. My friend and I were in the parking lot. We started jumping up and down. I was crying. Oh, my God. And, <laughs> yeah, that is, I mean, it all goes back to the magic of gratitude. It's like accepting what you have, finding the joy in it. So Changing your mindset. Hopefully that. Yeah. Uphold, you know, I have an off the record question. Just where were you? Where were there you cornfields? You ain't on your cornfield. cornfield. Camarillo. Your See? mouth? No, it's is... not for the podcast. It's just a question. Yeah, Camarillo. Oh, oh there's no corn. Okay. In yeah, there are. There's, it's not corn. there's like fields. Well, so that was that. Sappy Thoughts with Kath. We loved hearing it, <laughs> especially yes. Lisa. We loved hearing it. Um, we're going to do a little game. We're doing something different that mm. we haven't done before. A little good game. Just kidding. I hate this. There's a little game called... Is this impressive or not? Or not? Oh. And what it's referring to is boys, men, oh. romantic relationships. So we're gonna just name. We're gonna throw out some things, and we're gonna tell. Well, we're gonna vote impressive or not. Yes. And wait, here's why. Just quick, because I feel like okay. Did anyone not do this as a teen? I do. Be it like, all the time. wow. He said I was pretty, as if you're the ugliest hag, and it's so <laughs> shocking that he thinks you're pretty. Or like. He called me. <laughs> like, wow. Yes. He has a phone. Who does that? Like, Basically, a guy we, I does... I feel like we're all a bit delusional, and guys would do normal things, and, and we'd be we like, would flip wow. out about them. And so, so, you, check you basically let yourself mm-hmm. get walked over. You're like, oh, it's okay that um, he didn't do this or anything because he did He's this one nice thing. Yeah. So I will put up with every bad thing because he did this yes. thing. We want so you guys to is... take away from this game that there are certain things that every normal, functioning, respectful human being should do. Like, there's <laughs> like just, baseline. Like, like this is right, how it should it, be. You know? Let's go. Ready? All right. Okay. Here we go. Right. I got one. Okay. Calling you when he says he's going to call you. Not, not impressive. Not impressive. Appreciated, but not appreciated. Exactly. But not Pretty basic. All the good things, you appreciate them, but you should not be like, oh my. All right, I have one. Be I grateful, one. but don't be shook. Being mm. nice and cute and playing with their little siblings. Oh, that's impressive. Whoa. I think it's impressive. No. I think it's impressive. No. 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 Okay. Because a okay. lot of people, it's your little a lot of people sibling. are rude to them, and I'm like, wow, yeah, you're not being rude. I think that's right. impressive. All right. Yeah. All right. I think it's impressive. Bag. Depends on the person. Yeah. I don't think it's I impressive. It's okay. But I wait. think we're that in disagreement okay. on that. <laughs> I think that's kind of impressive. I was going to say, what about boys who blatantly post pictures with babies, and you can tell that they don't even care about the baby. Oh, They're just trying to look cute. A- not impressive. Yeah. Not Why impressive. does that mean they don't care about the no. baby? I saw a picture of this boy, and he was like, it's it was just like, 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 like low key smoldering, and this baby was kind of off the yeah. side. And the baby was kind of like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> using the baby as a plot. Not present. Not present. Okay, 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 okay I got one. Like, um, no, no, don't telling do that. you um, just any kind of compliment. No, not wow. impressive. You have really pretty hair. Not it depends on okay, the compliment. Okay, okay, hold That's on. That's impressive. That's no, good. No. Okay, okay. Listen, Give this is my one. this is my stance. Any any sort of compliment on you at all, you should already be telling yourself. And if he tells mm. you something you haven't thought of, you should just add it into your book and be like, yes, I am great. Okay? Yeah. Not in a conceited way, but just don't be shocked when people yeah. say nice things about you. You shouldn't be like, really? Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it depends on the compliment. I think if someone tells you you're like interesting or like, 
pretty. No, interesting is actually kind of impressive. I think sometimes you're like pretty or like fun, nice or like okay. nice. Or that like personal, cute, cute. Anything, yeah. anything called cute is not impressive. Okay, yeah, that's I got one. easy. How about noticing something about you that other people didn't notice? Okay, I think that's, yes. I think that's impressive. Okay, that is I think, listen, I think this is this falls under impressive because they're actually taking the time to get to know you. Okay, yeah, oh, it's becoming less general. Courtesy of Lord, <laughs> someone, um, a man. Who can <laughs> handle their emotions? What? Can you be more specific? What? Just in general. If a man can handle his emotions, what does that mean? I would say that's impressive. That's extremely <laughs> impressive. Do you know one man who can handle their emotions in this very way? What, what, what does that mean? Like, like express them? Like they like, don't yes. have a panic attack because Every you time did they feel one something. thing. What yeah. about handling that's your impressive. emotions? But <laughs> that's I, impressive. I have one. What? We gotta do one that's actually impressive. Okay. I have one. That okay. was impressive. Oh, handling okay, emotions okay. is. Listen. Yeah. Okay. No, this one that's okay. Um. I don't know how to word this, but like, actually, okay, okay, okay. This is like a complex one, but like, if there's like a, a few things. One would be like asking if you have any physical boundaries. Two mm. would be questioning whether they can. How do I word this? Like, I'm what? trying to say like, like this is like when like if someone like. I don't know how to explain this. Like, I'm talking about, like, touching. Like, if someone, like, touched you, and they're like, oh, is this okay? Like, how do you word that? Asking like, permission before they put a finger on you. Yeah. Yes. Like, that, that is it that. Should, that's impressive. It should not be I impressive. I think that is not but in impressive. This day, it is. In this day and age, you are impressive. In this day and age, it should not be impressive. Yeah. Yeah. But not at all. You should never lay a finger on it. Can I touch you right now? No. Same. Oh. Not going to touch no. her. Yes. Amen. Do not yeah. just try to slide into their DMs. <laughs> valuing valuing DM someone. Them and, hey, can I DM you? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. You too late. You already did. Yes. Valuing someone's physical boundaries yes. and asking first and all this. Thing, think, Baseline. Not impressive. But everyone should do that. Yeah. I think it's impressive. Because okay. most people it's don't. But it be. shouldn't be it should like. Okay, this crazy thing. Okay, I got one. So I know, you know, opening doors, that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah. But what about opening the car door? Oh. Because no one does that. And it's I think impressive. It's I, think I, I think it's impressive. It should be what it is. I have never liked a guy that didn't open the car oh. door. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Every if single. If Lisa's saying that her guys did that, no yeah. offense. It makes me think differently. It makes me think differently. <laughs> no, but I still think that's impressive. No, a lot of guys like, don't do that. Like, walk around to my side and, yeah, not just lean across. I don't know. Troy Bolton. And the only that. boys who have done that exactly. for me are boys that were raised in the South. That's the only thing. Okay, uh, guys, I got a hard one. I got a hard one. Oh, okay. okay. Giving you chocolate on Valentine's Day that his mom bought that not he did not impressive. Not impressive. Not impressive. I'm not that's impressed. the reverse of impressive. There's not impressive, and then there's impressive, and then there's just downright dumb and <laughs> no, disappointing. No, there's just really, <laughs> really, really. Um, yeah. Come on, let's. End. Okay, oh, here's another one. Can we end on an impressive note? I want some more. Here's one. Um, being cute. Not no, impressive. impressive. Everyone's impressed by no, that, but you need okay. nothing to earn your good looks. No dressing, true. dressing well, not, not impressive. impressive. Okay. But oh, have, people have, have, think it's so have, impressive. This is for the high schoolers. Playing sports of any kind, not okay. impressive. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's on the football team. No, no, no. He's the if you're man. really good at sports, it's like, oh, it's impressive that it's you're good cool, at sports. But it's not but like, wow, not, you're an amazing person. Now I need to date him. It's not like I should date him because he's the quarterback. This is another one for a high schooler. Having a license. Uh, he has a license. Having a car to drive? Be, he has a car. Not impressive. <laughs> okay, here's one, and this is kind of obvious, but I feel like this is more for our readers' sake. Um, treating the women in his life respectfully, his mother and his sisters. <gasps> oh, that's not, not impressive. impressive. Wait, but very appreciated. Very well, yeah, appreciated. Like, like, just like, that's just like it's big not points. impressive doesn't mean it's not appreciated. Yeah, but yeah. I expect we have to, we have to I've distinct. I've always heard people okay. say that how a man treats his mother or sisters, both, is how he will eventually mm-hmm. treat you. So True. be careful. Mm-hmm. If a boy is always like talking back to his mom or like being just mean. being rude to her, like he's probably going to do it to you after he's done yeah. charming you and... <laughs> So you just know. a quick disclaimer to end this. There are certain things that are appreciated, as Lisa said, like, you know, opening the door and, like, yeah. buying you things or whatever. I don't know. Anything like that. These are all things, good things. Very good things. They're just not like, oh, if this guy does this, he must be a stand-up perfect They shouldn't perfect be, like, make or break. The marry. point is that at this point, people become impressed by things that, like, Anything. he texted me back. When in the old days, you had to freaking walk to their freaking house, even have cars. Yeah. Walk to the house, <laughs> open the door to their dad and try to talk to them, yes. okay? So it's like, he moved his 
his thumbs for me instead of just reading <gasps> it with his eyeballs <laughs> yeah. and then ignoring me. So it's like you <sighs> shouldn't. Obviously, you can feel whatever you want, but it's just you'll feel better about yourself and you will have better times in life with <laughs> men if you respect raise yourself your, more and mm-hmm. raise your standards. Raise it's about standards. raising your standards. Raise yes. Up. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Question of the day with Kath. Ooh. All right, guys. This one might be a little embarrassing for us. Oh, jeez. Um, what was Keep the it. most delusional you were in your life? Oh. Um, okay, I'd say this one thing went on for six months with this boy, and we never even hung out one-on-one. So how delusional mm. could I be to hold mm. on for six months when he never asked me to hang out? Mm. Oh, I know one. Crazy. My ex-boyfriend... I thought he was. I thought <laughs> I was going to marry. Oh, him. I told you because he was because he was my first boyfriend. So I was like, I'm gonna marry you. He's like, Christina, love you. I'm laying sick on the couch. Christina comes up. Hey, beep is on the phone and he wants to know if what is it like you? He has our bl- your blessing. Your pr- approval. He wants your approval before he's he like knew. he can be in a relationship with me. Do you approve? No. <laughs> I'm like, she's like, she was kidding. She can, but in my I'm mind, like, no, I wasn't. Like, and then I'm like, she wasn't yes, kidding. Lisa, you got her Lisa, back. I don't even good. remember she saying had that. my back. Um, All right, anyone else? Definitely honest. when I would like boys for multiple years who never, ever liked me. Yes. Aww. I like this one guy who was just, sorry, like barely functioning and like didn't <sighs> own a car. He was and in like, a catatonic state. He was, I'm not going to like describe all of his awful behaviors. Not to me, just to himself, but like. He was a wreck. And I was like, I don't know why I was so obsessed with him. He kind of looked like Justin Bieber. Yeah, well, he looked like Justin Bieber. Oh, I wonder why you were obsessed. Not impressive. Not impressive. It was December (laughs) to January. It was just like two months, but like... The things that I felt for this guy and, like, the links that I would go to just to, like, try to see him around. Mm. I was, like, 20, and I was, like, what am I doing? Like, I felt, like, out of, I felt like I was out of my mind and, like, not on this earth for two months straight. So, uh-huh. good rough. times. It That's was cool. fun, but anyone else? I think for me, it had to be that time that, which I actually talked about this on Instagram, oh. that I liked this guy for five years. Mm. And I was totally in the friend zone. And it wasn't like I was, like, obsessively plotting to win his heart but it's just like every time I ran into him around town I was like oh yeah he's so beautiful he looks like um Thor uh, Thor. oh yeah (laughs) and it was just like (laughs) oh maybe he'll change his mind because he kind of like seems like he likes me but he doesn't Mm. and he's never gonna change his mind I was like and he was just always like every other time I saw him it was either like oh yeah we're such good friends or he was like Hey, like, just like Ew. really like standoffish or like wouldn't be like bye and like wouldn't even give me a hug. It was just, like really awkward. Mm. So I don't I'd know say why I did that. when I wrote Galaxy, probably actually <laughs> there's definitely been worse times, but one of the times I can think of is when Every I wrote Galaxy. Every time you're like, there's no one better. I'm like, there's everyone better. Literally, literally. <laughs> okay, okay, Aww. okay. So Dan, mm. speaking of you, hey, why don't we hear some notes to sell? <sighs> yes. Uh, so I have. Only if you left. My chair just did this. Wait. It didn't work. That was my chair. It didn't work. Oh, it was your chair? Oh. <laughs> oh never mind. It made a noise. A squeak. A squeak. A anyway, squawk. uh, I have a couple ones. I just picked it and then I lost it. Frick. <clears throat> oh, okay. So have I said don't attract the boys with fans yet? No. No. I didn't say that? Yeah, okay. I thought you did. No. Did I say it? No, you did not. No. I thought no. you did. Yeah. He thinks yeah, I did. Okay. okay, so I'm not gonna say that one. I remember. All right, it. so <laughs> this one is controversial. I'm gonna oh, say. No. Can you stop talking? While I'm, I'm scared. Talking? I have a controversial one. So uh, first of all, this is my opinion. So if you don't like it, you can ignore it and not do so it. So the opinions on this show are not. Wait. Are not reflecting. Are not a reflection of anyone but Danny. Danny. Yeah. Well, wait, this isn't the a big deal. Of Danny. This is a big deal. It's You're just. Really hyping it. I'm I said. Scared. Well, because people don't like this nowadays. It's just against like gender roles or whatever. So or no, it's the oh. reverse. It's, it's, it's pro gender roles. For gender roles. Pro gender roles. Okay. Oh. So, it says, never text a boy first. And now, oh, let me just whoop. say, it doesn't, well, people get offended by this, but not if that If you I get care. offended by this, you need to chill. You need to chill. I'm not saying never in your entire life should you ever, like, if you're dating someone, obviously you can text them first. But I'm saying, like, if you just met a guy, if you are starting to like a guy, if you don't know if he likes you back, if you're friends with a boy and you have intentions of being more than friends, don't text him first. I've done this many times. I've been the chaser. I have been the proactive one or whatever. Never works. Never ends well. Never has. Never will. Mm. So... Uh, yeah, some people disagree. A lot of people disagree. So because text them all you want. But it's my notes to self. <laughs> yeah. You can spam a guy if you want. Just tell me how it works. Okay, this is your <laughs> watching. They're like, yes. text him right now. All right. <laughs> no, so that's so novel. Don't do tell that. Tell us your next one. Um, and then, oh, I just, <laughs> Hey, like her ice cream. I can eat ice cream in the dark in the car. It doesn't apply to me. 
Um, and, and then, but I ain't no, gonna text. This is one of those no. ones. <laughs> Guys, no, I didn't do that. Guys, I, I waited. This I is one of hers. <laughs> guys, I'm literally talking. This is one of those ones that is um, brand specific. So sorry, Wetzel's Pretzels, but <laughs> I said, I don't that. get strawberry lemonade from Wetzel's Pretzels. Why? why? I don't know why. I honestly don't know why I put that. I've every time I've had it, I just didn't really like it that much. I thought you were gonna die. Because I feel like it's so sugary. Yeah, it's. I think it's. I think it's because they make regular lemonade and they just put like strawberry stuff in it which I think a lot of strawberry lemonade is like that but I don't know specifically it was just Wait, like what else would you do just don't get strawberry lemonade from there like if you're gonna no, get but, something like, there get like a pretzel. strawberry lemonade wouldn't it be lemonade okay just let her have a moment <laughs> no, I don't okay care. I don't care I'm just saying okay. she doesn't have a reason but Wetzel's she has pretzels. a thing has she has experience. a strawberry lemonade that I don't like, so okay. I wouldn't get don't that. Don't get it. Well, right, thanks, thanks, thanks for the notes. So yeah, very we learned, related, very specific. <laughs> we learned many things from Danny today. <laughs> These are just two of those many things, so thanks for sharing. All right, we're getting close to the end. So we're on to Get Real with Christina. Ooh, here we go. I'm Christina. I'm your host of this segment. And I'm real. And in the, yeah, and I'm real. Um, in the theme of this today, uh, s- today's episode? episode, that's the word, um, which is like delusion, then I wanted to say wake up from mm. your delusions. So we were kind of talking about- Wake up, America. <laughs> we were talking about relationships, so that's what the song is about. And because you guys, you you lovely, lovely, sweet people, send me a lot of messages with a lot of delusions in them. So mm. I just want to help you wake up, okay? Mm. I've been delusional too, okay? We all have. We all have, sisters. There's kind of mm. two, two categories of delusion I'm seeing. One is you don't even know someone and you are obsessed with them, mm. but you don't know them. So you're like, there's this guy that I really like and I see him all the time, but when do I tell him I like him? You don't talk to him, but you want to tell him that you like him. Don't tell a boy you like him! Anyway. Okay, you don't even know him, so you don't even like him. You can't like someone if you don't know them. So yeah. stop skipping the knowing part and jumping to the telling him that you like him. You need to eh, cut that, cross Wait, it off. Wait, a huge way that I combat this is I think of someone I know <laughs> where they're like absolutely horrible, right? Where you know someone, you're like, this person is like psycho and awful, and you just think of the person you don't know, and you're like, they could be that too. You don't know them, oh, okay? Really terrifying. And think of if someone didn't know you and you never spoke to them Ooh. and they came up to you and said, I like you. And you were <laughs> like, scary. when did you talk You're to like, me? what's your name? You're like, what? <laughs> do you know... Do you know anything about me? No, they don't. So if you don't know anything about someone, stop living in this world and fantasizing about them all the time. I mean, you can obviously you can do this, but it's not going to end well for you because you're just thinking about something that's not even real. You're mm-hmm. wasting all of your time. You could do so many other things. If you want to make a, if you want to think about stuff, why don't you make a plan to talk to them and then do it tomorrow? Or like, you can make actually, some goals. Okay, in and your life. maybe they're weird. You don't even know. So I want you to wake up from that. The other one is if you actually are talking to someone and they're treating you like a trash. pile of trash. Mm. Stop telling yourself they're great if they're stuffing you in the trash can and stomping on you. Mm. It's not great. But you might think it's great because maybe in your family, maybe that's how your family treats you. So you're like, oh, this is normal. Mm. Mm. Think about it for a sec. Just let it sink in. It's not good to be treated like that. You don't deserve that. So stop building up this person who's treating you so badly. It's not good. And stop telling yourself, if you like this guy and you know he's talking to other girls or you know something bad is going on there, you just know it. Stop telling yourself, nothing's going on. Ha, 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 I'm fine. You know in your gut. You can feel it. You know something's going on. Wake up. Be honest with yourself. Move along. Pack your bags. Get out. Well, your mental bags. Try not really packing your bags. Pack your mental bags <laughs> okay. and move. Pack bags. Packing your mental bags. That really brings an image. <laughs> yeah, pack really those like little that. mental bags <laughs> and move on. Wow. That has been my public service announcement. Get real with yourself. Get Thanks. real. I appreciate that. I really enjoyed that. So um, let's let's do a little challenge here in the spirit of challenges. All right. <laughs> so, you know, we're cultivating that attitude of gratitude now in this Ooh, episode. Are we? We are go we? from delusion to reality. Yes. <laughs> so our challenge Ooh. to you is to take reality? your life. Wait, no, that's not right. Okay. Our challenge to you is to make a list of 10 things that you are grateful for. Bonus points if you take a picture of the list and tweet it to us with the hashtag Cimarelli Podcast. <laughs> they can't even hear that. Cimarelli Podcast. <laughs> yeah, that, that hashtag. That was weird. And yeah, we will, we're really excited quick. to see what you are grateful for. Bonus points if you do something really 
Interesting. If you think it's hard to come up with 10 things you're grateful for, chicken, my sister's, socks, restaurants. Air. Your legs. God, my legs. Your toenails. Food. Air. Water. Toenails. Your eyes. Food, water. That's 10 things. That was like three oh, seconds. I read somewhere once that everyone should include in their list a roof over my head, mm. sheets in my if bed. Because that's pretty. that's a pretty good thing to be grateful for. Mm-hmm. Feet mm. under my legs. <laughs> Hey, oh, I think that's good. Shoes in my feet. Wait, that is feet good. Feet. Also, it can be really like funny things, like you know, men with like scruff or something. You know? <laughs> yeah, I can't. Or like, <laughs> or like, I don't know. Why is that funny? toenail clippers? Those are great. Oh yeah, funny would be like chicken no, wings. Okay. Anyway, Cows. thank you. Ish. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for listening. Please send us that list. I would love to read what you're grateful for. It would brighten my day. Me too. Thank you, guys. Thanks for listening. Go listen to Galaxy if you want to, you know, catch a vibe. Just kidding. Catch a feeling. <laughs> say that. Oh, Go listen did. to Galaxy and... Um, Actually, listen to Galaxy, but don't believe it. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Look, if you're not trying to be delusional, don't listen to Galaxy. <laughs> okay, think about your I'm pet serious. or something like that. <laughs> oh, no. Galaxy. Think about yourself. Okay, think about yourself. <laughs> or you can actually like, think about the, the real Galaxy and then it would be real. Okay, okay, think about space. Oh. We have a dying woman again. I'm sorry. Uh, th- go listen to Galaxy. Tweet us. Hashtag Simulate Podcast. We forgot Podcast. Lisa's inspirational ending. And uh, Lisa, did take she it really away. forget it? Bring it home. I was waiting. I had faith. Inspire us. She did forget it. Wow. It's cut off of the list. <laughs> <laughs> I did forget because I just said it. No, you did. Right. Um, I've never forgotten anything in my life. I'm oh. actually going to be um, real I've for never. 10 seconds. <laughs> Guys, when you... Oh, this no. is this is like no, this is real. Okay. <laughs> if you want to go up in life, right? Everyone's mm. like, I just want to be happy. I don't want to mm. be sad anymore. Blah blah. Or, I don't know. Okay. You want to go up? You need to go down. Okay. Mm. You need to. Okay. Say, sometimes, in order to get into the light, you need to go through the darkness. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's just like mm. I was. Last night, I realized for the last, like, year and a half, I've been just fine. And I've been fine. I haven't had any, like, really dark times. And last night, I finally was, like, I was relieved at how dark I was feeling. As I was, like, wow, I'm on to something here. I'm in touch right now. Like, mm. after I get through everything that I'm feeling right now, I'm actually going to be happy. I'm not just going to be fine. So, I just want to encourage you with an actually inspirational ending. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's not wow. about socks. <laughs> To monitor yourself Mm -hmm. and your reactions. Are you getting upset about stupid things or weird Mm -hmm. things? Are you freaking out about little things that aren't that big of a deal? Mm -hmm. Because if you are, there's probably something much bigger going on, and you need to figure out what that is, and you need to stop avoiding it and just dive Mm -hmm. into the depths. Once you go down, then you're able to come up. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's my ending. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Some inspiration. Thanks for listening. For once. We love our readers. Thank you. Let's we just love leave our it. Readers. Let's leave it on that high note. <laughs> Bye, yeah, that's readers. it. Bye. You've been listening to the Simarelli podcast. Follow Simarelli on Spotify and subscribe on YouTube. You can also find Simarelli on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. <laughs>